Hi there, my name is Bethany Monacalvo, and if you're watching this video, chances are you probably already bought my product. Thank you for supporting me and supporting small businesses, or you're wanting to purchase my product. Either way, welcome. I wanted to be able to share a little bit specifically about the Healthy Beauty by Bethany Hallelujah Cleansing Oil. Oil. This is something that I've used for decades and decades, and I have had the pleasure of being a esthetician and a medical esthetician and working in the TV and film industry as a union makeup artist for over 20 years. When I say that, it doesn't seem like that. I look back on yesterday and it's but a flash, but I'm grateful for the education. I'm grateful for meeting people that taught me so much. Then in turn, I'm able to bring these wonderful products to you. I believe in something natural. I believe that we could take care of ourselves, and it doesn't have to be hard. Now, there's hard work going into it. We all have to feed our body well, and we all have to use the most natural things that we can. We're living in a different time and age, shall we say. Shall we say. But I like to say, if we stick together and teach each other, because the knowledge that we have isn't ours to keep. It's to be able to go forth for generations to come. So let's talk about the cleansing oil method. This is why I love this. And I have nothing on my face. For those of you who haven't seen me without makeup, this is what I look like. So, okay, y'all, let's just chat. This is the reason why I really like the cleansing oil method. And this is why I really felt led to be able to um, come up with a product that was effective, safe, very few ingredients, but it works. So the oil cleansing method is, you know, castor oil, or maybe you don't know. Castor oil is a wonderful oil. It actually pools. It's a drawing oil. So it pulls things from under the skin. This is a natural safe method that is actually good for all skin types, whether it's acne, whether it's dry, whether it's normal, whether it's sensitive, whether it's damaged skin. If you think about it as Americans, we use a lot of cleansers that have sodium laurate sulfate. What is that? Well, it's a chemical word that means it gives you suds. It's in a lot of our shampoos, our cleansers, what we wash our clothes with, and it's not needed. And I think maybe some people are conditioned to love the sudsiness on the face. It's making them feel that their skin is clean. But on the contrary, it's actually stripping the pH of their skin. With an oil cleansing method, you're using something that your skin already has. And for the folks that are coming out of acne, I had acne for over a decade. I share my bio on overcoming acne. So with this, as I shared, it works with all skin types because oil actually cuts oil. Yes, we have caca oils, but we also have really good oils that serve a purpose. This serves a purpose. And what it's basically doing is it's not wrecking havoc on your skin. It's actually working with your skin. It's actually helping with a microbiome in your skin. So this is something that is safe and effective. And the other ingredients that I like to be able to add into this is a hoba oil, or I hear some people say jehovah oil to each its own, tomato, tomato, whatever you prefer. But it's a beautiful oil because you can use that oil for all skin types. Some castor oil for some folks' skin can be really drying. For other folks, it can actually work quite well. But when you mix another oil in that works for all skin types, you're able to produce an oil cleansing method. And I have other essential oils in here that are anti-aging as well. And if you want to learn specifically more about the ingredients, again, you could go to healthybeautybybethany.com and you could click on my online store and then you could learn specifically about the ingredients. I just wanted to share in this video how we could use the oil cleansing method. Okay, so I have nothing on my face. So the options are you can use this to take off makeup. It's an oil, so you're it's going to melt uh, the makeup off your face. So if you're going to do this, removing makeup, I like to do 
two cleansing methods. So the first one is to remove makeup. And then the second one is to actually clean out your skin. And what we want to do is we want to use two pipefuls of the Healthy Beauty by Bethany, the Hallelujah Cleansing Oil. So we want to take this off, a pipeful. Okay, one, one, a two, and it is liquidy. You're going to take a little bit of water and mix it in there. And you could see my hands are has the castor oil on it and the other oils. This is what I like to share with ladies. Please be nice to your face. Don't rub it down. Go in upward movements, okay? So what I'm doing is, and don't, don't be scared. Like use your fingers, make them bendable, pliable, right? To be able to get on your pretty face and go on your forehead. And when ladies say, how long do I leave it on for? Uh, two minutes. If you can't do two minutes, do a minute. The whole point is, is to rub it into your skin. Why? Because you're pushing it into your skin and it's serving a purpose. Don't forget your nose. I feel like so many people just totally forget their nose and our nose points out of our face, y'all. It's something that really just collects dirt and oil and uh, we want it to be clean too. So Now, if you're doing and removing your makeup, you could go directly over your eyes like this and you can get off the mascara. I don't have any like mascara on my eyes, but you can, okay? So just think two minutes. If you don't have two minutes, I tell ladies, put it on your skin, go brush your teeth, leave it on, and then come back. And what this is basically doing is this is working with the pH in your skin. A lot of cleansers that we use, it strips our skin. It literally is doing the opposite of what our skin needs. If you have acne, your skin is overproducing for a period of time. Then people use things that are salicylic glycolic, not saying that's bad, but they overuse it and then it dries out the skin. And then in turn, the skin is actually producing more oil. That's bad news bears. We don't want that. We want to be able to regulate it. So if you have acne, I use this method even when I had cystic acne and you purge. Well, you can purge. The reason being is it's actually working. It's coiling. It's pulling it out of your skin to the surface. So this is something that you want to be able to realize. And it's a good thing. I know it's uncomfortable for people who have acne. I had it for over a decade. So I understand. I also understand what to use to be able to clean the skin properly. Again, if you want to learn more, just go to my website and then I could share what might happen to your skin as well. Okay, so let's say we were doing a good job, y'all, right? We're doing two minutes. Take this time to be able to do insertion to origin. If you have time, take it. If not and you're busy, don't. It's okay. No worries, no pressure. So fluid builds up in our skin and you could just do some lymphatic things. It's not hard. Just take your little hands to your nose, go up to your ears and just drag it down. We hold tension in our face. So it's really nice to massage, massage the face. Okay. All right, ladies. 